Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, how are you guys doing today? And I hope you guys are having a wonderful, very licious, very top of a fabulous day today. Because today, guys, today is all about the wonderful world of strawberry shortcake. And can I tell you, I'm so excited about this one because I have been wanting to do this video forever. I have been wanting to do this palette forever. I got this palette back in December and I still have not got to use it yet. So we're going to be playing with this one today. And I also have the strawberry shortcake from Honeydew Cosmetics as well. We're going to be playing with that today. We're going to be creating a strawberry look today. So I'm so super excited. I have my pink shirt on. We got the kids here. We're having a great big strawberry shortcake party. So if you're interested and you want to hang out, especially since this is our last really big hurrah video of the summer, then stick around and let's do it together. Before we get started, can we just talk about this pink shirt? Okay, so I have this. I have a Chippendales shirt. This shirt, guys, I swear I've had this since 19... 86 or 87 maybe. I got it like an 87 from, I think it was like a Spencer's or something like that. Anyway, I found it in my storage and my, like my storage in my memory chest or whatever. And I pulled it out because I just love the color. So I was like, oh my God. I was like, you know, so anyway, so this is the school, this is the shirt that I had back in high school. So I didn't wear it to school, obviously, but I did have it, and it was in my closet, and I've had it forever, so I thought I would finally wear it some. So, anyway, so we are ready to go. I've already got brows on. Um, I've got a little bit of, I did a little bit of my P. Louise white eyeshadow base already. Um, I did my Patrick Ta. I did some foundation and primer. I did Dior primer, and I have used my little strawberry shortcake sponge, so we did use the sponge. And also, I, you did the strawberry shortcake lip gloss. This is the Glam Light strawberry shortcake lip gloss, um, and it's just by itself. So, I thought I have a little bit of this on while we're going. There's a lipstick that I will be putting under this soon, but I just thought just to have something on my lips, I thought this would be great, and it's such a great formula, and I just love the color. I just think it's so super cute, and just to throw this out there, um, so just to let you guys know, I have owned this. This is the Clinique. This is the High Impact Full Volume Mascara. It's a brand new mascara that Clinique came out with, and nobody ever talks about Clinique, right? The, the, the Clinique is not talked about a whole lot, but anyway, um, I was in Dillard's, and they have gotten this new mascara in, and I I thought we would give it a shot. So, I have it on today. So, I'm really liking it so far. So, what do you guys think? It, it dries really quickly. Um, it does a good job of holding the curl if you do curl your lashes. Um, I think it's pretty good. It's a nice, it's a nice impact mascara. It's very easy to put on. It's not hard to put on or whatever. Um, so far, it hasn't smudged or caked or anything. And I've had it on for about an hour. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, so far, so good. Okay, guys, just a real quick. This is the swatches and the palette. So, this is the first two rows in the palette. Let me guys show you a closer look at the palette. So, these are the first two rows here, and then on my other arm, I have this row here, but this is what they look like up close. Now, if you notice in this one, the, the shift of these right here are really different. So, you think this one's going to be more of a green, but this one's actually more of a cool, icy purple looking color. Um, the greens are really beautiful. The pinks are really pretty, and then this one has more of that vivid red right there, and then we've got that really pretty pink there and this one and this one. Um, so, I just wanted you guys to see some swatches from this palette. Um, I'm not going to use all of the Honeydew palette. I'm only going to use like one or two of these. I think it's going to be more of this shade up here. I want to use that one. Um, I'm not very many out of this one, but Oh my God, this one smells delicious because it smells just like the doll. So, it just smells just like her. It smells just like her. You can smell it. It smells so good. You want to eat it. It's so awesome. But these are really beautiful too. They're very pigmented. But the color stories are very similar. And I don't want to do a palette with both color stories. So, I just wanted to use a little bit of this one just because we're using strawberry shortcake and she's so cute. I wanted to mix this one in. Um, but we're going to be using mainly the Glam Light palette. Um, and we will play with strawberry another day as well as huckleberry of high and um, lemon meringue I've already played with. And, and orange blossom, I'm going to do a fall look with her over the fall because she's got really great, but all of the Honeydew palettes do have a smell, and they do all have the scents to them, depending on which doll it is, And um, but the Glam Light is fragrance-free and gluten-free, and it does not have anything, and I think Honeydew is too. It just, it just has fragrance, where the Glam Light does not. But they are both Black-owned businesses, um, so you should go over and check them out. I will link down below. 
They are not affiliated, by the way. Um, they're just helping support the company is all. So anyway, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so just to throw this out there again, this is going to be a very dramatic look. It's not going to be anything for the weary. It's actually going to be very comparable a little bit to the Barbie collection, except we're going to be using this really bright pink shade. We're going to be using more of the berry shades. Um, this shade, we're going to skip the greens. It's going to be more berry and reds where the Barbie was more pink. Although there is some pink in here I will be using. We'll be using a little bit more of the actual, um, more of the red and berry shades though. So I'm going to start off with berry. Um, I th it's a berry cute. She looks like, she looks just like this. So she kind of, she's a pink. But we're going to start off with her and we're going to start building up that crease. I did do, uh, we are going to do a cut crease. So I'm going to do one of those. And I've got really big uh, strawberry shortcake lashes that came with the kit. We're going to be using those too. So it's going to be a very over the top dramatic uh, look. Um, the lips and the cheeks probably won't be as dramatic. I don't know. You know, you know, we just never know how things are going to go. We just go with it here. <laughs> I'm not really gonna, I'm not really, I really, really want, want to play with this palette and we are really gonna go for it. It's just been a palette that has been long awaited. I've talked about this palette forever, about using it and we have just never done it and we are finally doing it. And so, you know, well, when I do something, I go, I go big or go home. So we're just going big and we're just not going to worry about it. But anyway, it's going to be a fun palette to work with. Um, I really love um, Strawberry Shortcake. I love this collection. I think it's just absolutely adorable. I think Glam Light really knocked it out of the park with the, doing the packaging for this, the promotions for this. The only thing is, I really wish they would have added the smell to the palette of this one. Um, but I get it. They're a fragrance-free company, and they just don't normally do any fragrances in their products. Uh, the lip gloss uh, has a little bit of the strawberry flavor, so it does have a little bit of that nostalgia to it. So it does have that little bit, of, and it has a little bit of that strawberry smell. I don't remember the lipstick when we get there. I'll, I'll throw that out there, but uh, but yeah, it's like it's just it's a really beautiful collection. And by the way, this is a refer brush. This is a number twelve brush because you know I love using my refer brushes whenever I use a indie brand. Um, and so we're not completely even or whatever, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to go over and over again with different colors. So now I'm going to go into, um, let's go into Berry Cute, uh, another Berry Cute color. And she's a little bit down, she's the one down here on the bottom. We're going to take her and we're going to go over that pink and we're going to keep adding. And it doesn't really matter at this point what it looks like because we're going to go back and clean it all up and everything later. I'm just really trying to, to really bring out the colors. Um, so I'm really excited about this. It's just really, it's it already is looking really super cute. So now up next, let's go into my favorite shade in the compact is this one. Again, we're going to use the same brush. Again, I'm just really building up that crease and I'm going to go in here and add her. Ooh, wow. That is gorgeous. Now I know my lids are going to be super stained probably <laughs> after this is done, but wow, that is gorgeous. That is so pretty. That is loud. That is a very loud color, but wow, that's just, that's so impactful. I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. You guys know that I just like, you know, I don't play. I just like, oh, it's the reason why I do makeup and the reason why I love makeup is because we can just have fun with it. Because, you know, I don't get to do this every day working on clients because we don't do these kind of looks on clients, but it's super fun to do it and I'm re I really enjoy it. And um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to really <laughs> what this look is going to look like by the time we're finished. Number one brush and we're just going in and I'm going to start really kind of condensing these down together and really start blending them together and really kind of giving them a little bit more impact there. That is so pretty. So now there are two uh, berry colors in the palette. Um, I think I want to go um, with this, this top one first. I want to go in with this one and I really want to be able to go in and really kind of start deepening up that crease because when we cut it, I'm going to really want it to be really nice and sharp in there. It's such a great palette for holiday, too. Like, a really good Christmas palette because it's got all the greens and stuff, which is when it came out. It came out in Christmas. You know, hello, I'm just now using it since it came out at Christmas. But um, this could be used any time of year. It's a really good time of year to use at any time. And since the the strawberry look is out, it's like it's a whole new another look on Trent on TikTok. But it's a very more natural look with the fleshy look, it and the tomato look. But um, 
we're not doing any of natural today, guys. This is nowhere near natural. <laughs> so, um, so you know, yeah. But it's going to be fun. It's just fun to do, and that's what we're doing. Okay, now I'm just going to take a 202 BK Beauty brush, and we're just going to go in and just kind of start buffing that down a little bit right there where the edges are to make it a little bit softer. I don't want to take away too much of the edges because that's what gives it its depth. But I do want to tone it down just a little bit. And, of course, you know, we'll go back and clean it up and all later. But um, I did use a little bit of my um, Alexis, my shadow, my shadow uh, shifter, my shadow shaper, shipper, shaper. I, I did a little bit of it just to kind of just give a little bit more lift there on the end. But, yeah, that looks really pretty. I'm liking how that's looking. Mm, I like it. I like it. Okay. So, um, next up, let's do a little bit of liner in the inside of everything so we can do a little dark and then go back over it. So, um, let me pick out a, a dark liner. All right. So, I'm going to take a Victoria Beckham pencil. This one's in, um, what shade is this? In Bordeaux. So, we're going to take Bordeaux and we're going to go in here. we really start working that up underneath the waterline what we're looking like so far because I kind of took it and kind of connected it and just kind of did a little bit of a wing and then up in the inside here and then we're going to go over it with the shadow and stuff a little bit later but this is what it's looking like so far this is what we're looking like I went and did the liner all the way out here and then we edged it up a little bit and took through here to give a little drama because the lashes are really super big I'm probably gonna have to trim them a little bit because they're they're super fat lashes um this is what they look like if you guys can see them inside the box they're pretty big and they're pretty long so um I'm gonna have to really make this a little bit more long-winged so I can kind of really bring it out to make them look really make them stand out really pretty um, but this is what it's kind of looking like so far. I've got to go in and we're gonna we're gonna cut this just a little bit on the top. So I'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna take a lot of concentration because I just want to take a little bit of the cleaner and clean it up instead of using um I, the primer, I'm going to use that instead. So we're just going to go back and clean it with a little cleansing water, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we are back. So what I did was I took a little bit of cleansing water and went over and just sharpened this line out a little more, and then took a little bit more of the P. Louise, and then went back over the top of it and made sure that we kept the line. Um, so I'm going to go now into Berrylicious Red, and she looks like this. Oh, I just love the way this palette smells. It smells so good. When you open it up, it smells so good. But that is what she looks like. She's a little bit more of a sequin red. And I'm going to take her just right here on the outer corner. And because I want to place one of the other ones there, I just want to add a little bit of that there. Just to give that little bit of that really pretty red kind of color to it. Just a tap a little bit right there. Oh, that's so pretty. It gives it almost like a little bit of a, a coralish. Love it. That is so pretty. Okay, guys. So, now we are ready to go on. So, I'm going to go one more color in this one. And this is the Luscious Pink right here. And she looks like this. So, we're going to take the same brush, which I wiped off already. And I'm going to pat her right over this one and kind of blend it a little bit into that red color. And we're just going to blend that in together. And that looks really beautiful. Kind of almost give it a little bit of a more of a prismic effect. It kind of gives that a little bit of a shift. If you can see that shift, that is so pretty. That's a really beautiful look. <gasps> oh, it's so good, so pretty. Back into this palette, we're going to dive into this shade here. And she is a really pretty soft pink color, too. It's a little similar to the other one that we just did. Um, but she's just a little bit more pinker instead of this one was the one we just did. This one is the one we're going to use next. And then this one is in the other palette. And we'll use it in our inner corner. Um, but I just want to go back in here. I'm going to wipe off my brush again really good, the same brush. And I'm just going to tap this one. Now, this one's got a little bit more of like a glitter to it. So, just to be a little bit more careful. But I want to put it right here. And then we're going to do the really white one in the inner corner when we get finished. But look how pretty that is. See, it just gives us a really beautiful shift. And it kind of almost makes me want to add a little bit of the green to it, too. But um, I'm trying to keep it as um, maroon and as like more of that pink uh, red color more than anything. But it's really pretty. I'm really enjoying it. It looks really gorgeous. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. It's looking really good. Let me add just a little bit more of that right here. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and go off. I'm going to, like, 
see, because I've got to figure out the lashes and see if I need to cut them. I think we're going to do the lashes and then we'll come back and then I'll be able to, we'll be able to clean up. I'll have, I'll try to get most of the rest of my uh, concealer and everything on so we can finish the bottom too. Okay guys, so here we are. I am back. What I did was um, of course, I cleaned up with a little bit of concealer. I mixed Anastasia, my Anastasia, my Huda Beauty, um, and Natasha Denona all together. I kind of did a little bit of this first up underneath, and then I had a little color corrector, and then I did mix these two together just to clean up around the areas of my face. Um, we also went back with a little bit of this color called Custard the, uh, Custard the Cat, and I went up underneath my brow bone and just softened that line a little bit more with that. Um, I've used a lot more of this one than I thought, so we used this color, I used this color, we used this color, so I used a couple more than I want to, and I'm actually gonna use this one in the inner corner when I get done with the bottom. I took a little bit of my M Beauty. This is the Strawberry, is the name of it. It's Strawberry, it's like a cream blood. I took a little bit of her and I took a little bit of Rare Beauty and I kind of mix them together and give this little cute little combo up here. Um, we're not done with blush yet. I've still got to add more blush, but I mean, but I'm liking it so far. I set it all down with powder because they're more cream and then I set it all down with my Givenchy powder, my loose. Um, so yeah, so we haven't done a highlight yet. We haven't done a full blush yet. Um, and order the full lip yet either, so, but I wanted to finish up the under eye first before we went on with that. Um, so let's just do that real quick. I think we're going to go into very cute here. I think I'm going to take a little bit of her and I've got a little bit of that red left over on my brush. This is again, this is that number 12 brush. I'm going to tap off a little bit of it here and I'm going to add a little bit of the very, a little bit of the very cute and we're going to go up under here and just add a touch of it up underneath the eye area. And then, then I think I'm gonna add just a hint, just a little bit of that red and a little bit of that pink. So the, the this pink here and that red, we're gonna mix a little bit of those together, just a little bit more and add a little bit more right here, right there underneath. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what I needed. I just needed just a little something there. Over top of that Victoria Beckham liner, it looks really beautiful. It's looking really pretty. It's making my eye color look really nice. I like that a lot. Ooh, that is so pretty, guys. Wow, that looks really beautiful. Look how pretty. Makes my eyes look really, they give them like this really interesting color. <laughs> it's really pretty. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, so now we just need to do the inner corners. And um, let me find a little, I'm going to take a little bit. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy. This is 504. It's a really small little brush. We're going to go back into um, this color Whipped Cream. And she looks like this. So she's got a little bit more of that really pretty white shimmer. So I'm going to tap a little bit of that in it. And we're going to go in here and add her right in here. That is so beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, a little flake. That is exactly what we needed. Just a little something, something there. So now we've got our, now we've got the eyes finished. I added a little bit more touch to the brows. So now we are getting ready to go. I'm going by Natasha Denona. Um, this is I Need a Rose. I'm going to go in and we're going to add her as our liner. I did the, I need a new, we did the lip liner. I actually added a little bit of the Maybelline. This is totally toffee, and I did a little bit of it extra just over it, just to give a little bit more depth, um, because this is the lipstick. Isn't it adorable? It's so freaking cute. I just love the packaging. It's so freaking cute. It's a beautiful pink lipstick. It's kind of a sheerish, but it's, but she's pink. She's more of a pink, so we're going to go in and add it on. See, she's got more of a pink vibe to it. So it's going to be pinker than we thought. I mean, it's definitely going to be a little bit more pinker than we thought, but hey, I'm game. I'll go with it. This is the first time I've used a Glam Light uh, lip formula before, but this feels really good. It feels really creamy. So what do you guys think? It's really pretty. It's actually like more of a pinky. It's got like almost like a little bit of a coral to it. Uh, I'm mad at it at all. I like that a lot. That's really, it's a really beautiful color. Um, as far as I know, they still have these lip kits. By the way, the lip kit comes with the lipstick and you get the gloss to go with it. 
Um, this is the first time that I've actually got to try the lipstick, so um, I'm really, I'm really liking this formula. It feels really good, but it's the packaging that makes it so absolutely adorable. Um, and then now we're gonna do the strawberry gloss that I had on the the gloss I had on earlier. I'm gonna play it right over top of it again, just to add a little bit more of that berry back in. Oh, it's got like a little bit more of a, I don't say red, but it's just got a little bit more of a, almost like a cherry undertone to it. Just to give it a little bit more. Um, oh, this is gorgeous. That's a beautiful lip combination. Mm-hmm. Okay. In the summer. Uh, I'm telling you, because you guys, this is the last time you guys will be seeing me with this backdrop and everything will be going into fall. So, this is the last video of the summer for me. So, this is like my end of the summer leaving type situation or moving on, you know, into the fall next season or whatever. And it's hot as daylights outside. So, it's really still hot. So, it's kind of hard to really think about fall. But, and I know, but trust me, in the cosmetic industry and in the... And in this world that we live in, it's like everything is, you know, fall has started in July. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, it just kind of moves on like that. And before you know it, it'll be Christmas. Um, but, yeah, I like this so far. So, now let's add some more blush and we'll be done. Hey, guys. So, this is what we are looking like. I added a little bit of my Scooby-Doo highlighter. Uh, did a little bit of that, like, all over right in here. And then I took the Too Faced blush, and this is in the shade, um, it's the Cloud Clush, the Blurring Brush, and Watermelon. And I really took it and really, just really, really strawberry dirt up right through there. And um, looks really pretty. It looks a lot of color. I'm really liking it. Since I've added the blush, I even actually took the blush and mixed it in with the shadow a little bit to give it a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is take just a little bit more of the highlighter. I'm going to take just a tad bit more. I'm going to brush off my brush a little bit. And I'm going to take just a little bit more of this highlighter right here over that. Just to soften it up just a tad bit more. I'm going to give a little bit more glitz. Because this collection did not come with a highlighter. Um, but yeah, just to give a little bit more glow and just make sure everything is blended in a little bit better. And then we've got one more blush to put on. Like, wasn't we didn't have a cream blush and we did a powder blush. We're going to add another powder blush. And that is the actual strawberry shortcake blush that came with the collection. It is a very, very light pink. Um, so it doesn't give a ton of color on me, but I thought we would take it and pop her right here on the apple. That she, she's a beautiful, soft matte. It's very similar to the Dior blush, um, uh, the Rosy Glow. Um, but I'm looking for, I'm all about this blush now. I'm all about this really fleshy blush. It's very pretty. I'm going to take a little bit more over top of that other one. Just give it a little bit more pink. And yeah, what do you guys think? It's really pretty. It's very pretty. It's very, it's very blushy. It is, but, um, but I'm really liking it. Um, I'm not complaining about it whatsoever. Okay, guys, so here we are, finished look. I love it. It looks really good. You know, please let me know down below what you guys think. Um, what do you think of this look? I just think it looks really beautiful. It looks really fresh. It looks very strawberry. Um, I'm so glad that you guys were here with me to enjoy this palette because this palette is a really good palette. Glam Light is just such a good formula. And so is Honeydew. Honeydew is a very good formula too. She creates some really beautiful palettes as well. Um, they're both great formulas. I mean, it's just a cute color story. It's a lot of fun. Um, the lipstick and the lip gloss are just absolutely beautiful. It's more prettier on than it looks when you swatch it. Um, but it's a beautiful lipstick, actually. It's a really pretty pink, especially with that nude and that toffee liner underneath it. It looks really pretty. And, of course, the blush is super cute. It's a cute blush. I mean, it just gives a nice flush. But I'll tell you, that Too Faced one, man, let me tell you, because it's got a, you can smell it, too. It's got a really good smell to it. But it really does give that really beautiful strawberry flush along with this um, M Cosmetic, this one here. The stick, this is the strawberry stick, is really good up underneath it. But all in all, guys, it looks really good. Um, I will even like the lashes. The lashes even turned out really nice, too. So, I mean, I can't complain. So, please let me know down below what you guys think.
Um, you know, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, if you don't mind, subscribe while you're here because I would love to have you or we would love to have you with our little family because I include everybody here as our family. I include them as a we instead of me because it's um, it's not just my channel, it's your channel too. That so we would love to have you as part of our little family. So just hit that like button and that subscribe button would be really awesome. If you didn't like this video, then you know what? Berry on you. That's what we're going to say. Berry on you. <laughs> So anyway, remember guys, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. Also remember to be kind to somebody today because kindness can go off a long way. And um, yeah, if I didn't remember to tell you to love yourself, remember to love yourself, okay? Just just a little, little words to the wise. Um, so anyway, please take care of yourself, guys. We will see you again in the next episode and it will be fall. Yeah, it's coming. It's a coming and Christmas is coming. So anyway, take care, guys. We'll see you again in the next episode. Bye. Mwah.